Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about how to create e-commerce website with WordPress and uh, WooCommerce. In my previous tutorial, I have already explained you uh, before you want to start a, a online store, you should have a nice hosting. And I recommended you a few hosting partners and uh, whether you go for a good daddy or a side ground if you choose go daddy go for a business hosting of course it is expensive but uh, if you have a long-term goals it's really good for going for the business hosting with the business hosting you have uh, uh, unlimited websites and they're giving a SSL certificate for every domain you host over there and uh, speed of the website will be good because uh, that is not a shared hosting that is a dedicated server will be there so i recommend that so before that of course that uh, you got a client you don't know what kind of hosting uh, you took so check this what is their uh, php version whether they are running a latest wordpress version or not because whatever woocommerce you're gonna learn this will support the latest versions only so i'll make a separate video on uh, how to uh, update the php version so in the cpanel those options will be there i'll make a separate video on that one so how to up update your wordpress also i'm going to explain so today i'm going to take a see this is a kind of a subdomain i took only to give you a practice so shop.techcourses.com you can see here not secure means ssl certificate is not taken for you uh, because this is just a practice one uh, Unfortunately, I assume that you take a, a lower hosting level, but if you want to take a SSL certificate, GoDaddy is charging around 6,000 rupees. But there are some options where you will get a free SSL certificate also. I'll make a separate video on uh, how to get free SSL certificate for your domain. So in the next video, I'm going to explain that. So as of now, this is the store. Just I installed WordPress. Nothing is there. I'm going to show you how to make this as a e-commerce website people who are watching this video all of you know how to make create a basic wordpress website if you don't know go back to my youtube channel go to youtube type odmt uh, see my video on creating a basic website so this video is for the people who already have a knowledge on the design skills right so let me go to the dashboard because for the first time i'm logging to this website by default uh, <clears throat> WordPress is recommending this uh, choose any template or else it's asking whether your business is in dot design real estate so I recommend you to exit to WordPress dashboard because we already know all these things let us do from the scratch right Generally, in my previous videos to create a website, I clearly explained. If you want to create a website, once you log in, first create pages, second menu, third theme, fourth customize. This is the options I explained. This is for any service-based website. But if you want to create a e-commerce website, you need a plugin. This plugin will do most of the things. 70% of the work this will be doing. That plugin is called WooCommerce. Okay, this plugin I'm going to uh, install now. Before installing, you just see the look of this website. I'm going to add the plugin. So once you come to the dashboard here, click on the plugin. right so plugin click on add new plugin yeah here type WooCommerce yes there are many uh, WooCommerce add-ons like uh, stripe payment gateway mailchimp for woocommerce that you're gonna learn uh, uh, in the next videos but the main thing is you have to do this see the installs 
5 million active installs so understand the market how many people created uh, e-commerce website worldwide so opportunities are more to get clients also the world is changing uh, in future 90 percent of the business will be online so try to improve your knowledge on the e-commerce industry definitely you will earn very good amounts uh, install this normal website without creating pages some basic pages they will be giving one or two like privacy policy kind of thing but when you install wordpress uh, like checkout page my account page add to cart page shop page by default this plugin only will create there are many options automatically this plugin will be created so your job will be very easy you want to create your website in HTML or PHP these all things you have to do it so this is done by someone else they did a coding and just installing the plugin so within two to three minutes your story is ready to to upload the products okay you see the add-ons so many add-ons are there yes so when i install and activate the plugin see i'm getting a message welcome to woocommerce get your store up and running more quickly with our new and improved setup experience yes please then some setup wizard will come uh, they'll ask you to follow some instruction just follow the instructions that's it yeah store details your industry product types business details and what kind of theme you want to select once you finish them 70% uh, of the job will be done after that if you keep on adding the product your store will become great so what is your uh, address of the store just mention them so as of now i'm just uh, adding Okay, shall I let it be and city I'm setting up a store fund for a client means uh, you're doing for someone else or are you doing for yourself so let it be like this don't select this click on continue So it is asking build a better WooCommerce, get improved features and faster fixes by sharing non sensitive data by using tracking that shows us how WooCommerce is used. Uh, don't worry, we have a habit of not selecting something, but WooCommerce is the biggest one. They will not steal anything from you. Uh, they will be giving you valuable tips. So click on this and continue. Yeah. In which industry does the store operate? So fashion, apparel, accessories, if you are into saris, any beauty products, you can select health and beauty, art and music. Maybe you might be of anything. If not comes under anything, select other option. So as of now, I'm selecting like uh, fashion, apparel and accessories. Right. Then click on continue. Yeah, what type of products will be listed? Is it a physical product? Download it? Subscription? Let customers subscribe to your products or services and pay on a weekly, monthly, or annual basis. Yeah, most of the courses will be subscription based. Membership, bookings, bundles, there are many ways. Uh, ours is about physical products. By default, it is checked. Let it be like that. And. Uh, Click on continue. How many products do you plan to display? 
so based on your store definitely uh, small to medium will be having around 1000 products biggest one will be having more than 10000 so why not one to thousand just go for or else go for thousand plus depends currently selling where this they're asking you as of now are you selling somewhere else they want to take information from you that's it it's not mandatory so so tell them no i'm not doing anywhere else now by default they're asking you market on facebook contact customers with mailchimp drive traffic to your store with the ads and marketing okay if you want you can deactivate them but it's always good to have them so we'll be having a separate video on that because if you have a mailchimp selected automatically people who came for your uh, website added to the cart being to the checkout but they didn't purchase the product so you can set up a mailchimp automation again this is checked your products will be available on a facebook page to do a marketing same as a google ads also okay let it be like this click on continue <clears throat> and in this process if you miss anything anytime you can go back if you just click, you'll go back and uh, make changes. <clears throat> and the final thing, they will be asking you for the theme. Uh, the biggest problem people face is they try different, different kind of themes. These days, the many page builders have came, like WP, Bakery, Elementor, many are there. But WooCommerce will suggest a few things. Whatever WooCommerce suggested, if you take them, the designing might not be great it's simple but it will be very fast so i recommend start with them only check the performance see your customer will search on google for the particular product once they landed on your website they will see the product the quality and what are your services then purchase they will not look for the great website and one more thing these days most of the users are from mobile only so mobile, whether you create a great website or average website, look great only based on their smartphone. So I recommend you don't have to go for a great teams, whatever they're asking, just go for it. So these are all good things only. Uh, we'll learn how to optimize better with these themes only. And this is, okay, let me see the, this is all the themes. Let's see the free themes. What are the free themes? Okay, these are only the free themes. And when it comes to paid themes, again, this is also done by the WooCommerce only. So these are the paid tools so that your it will be grand look. Uh, see here, $79 per year. So, but initially, uh, go for the free theme, design it. Later, you can customize with the paid theme if you want. Okay, let's see how the storefront, most of the people use this. It's very simple and i'm um, selecting this i'm choosing this storefront so with this your customized wizard will be done and uh, you will be going to the dashboard where it will be asking you to add the product Yes, storefront is activated. Enhance your store with Jetpack and WooCommerce services. Yes, I recommend to go for S, yes, but as of now, I'm, I'm clicking on no thanks. Later, I will be adding. What is the benefit of adding uh, Jetpack? Jetpack is another plugin owned by WooCommerce itself. With that, you can see the analytics and uh, you assume that you are in US there are many states different states have a different taxes so automatically it will calculate so it is always easy to have all these things at the same time woocommerce services apart from the main plugin woocommerce there are many services we required uh, like woocommerce payments or as woocommerce pdfs in such a way if you activate both of them 
in the dashboard you can always choose the services whatever you want okay see store management on the go automated sales tax improved speed and security so i recommend to go for this but only for this video purpose i'm not doing because uh, again i have to create a wordpress.com account so i'm not doing but in a separate video i'll come back and i'll do it okay no thanks it's done and it's giving a guided session now it is done see left hand side woocommerce you can track your orders you can see customers coupons reports settings status many options it came and see here automatically left hand side you have a product option analytics and marketing okay i'll just go through this done now again it is asking something finish setup add my products set up payments set up tax set up shipping and uh, <clears throat> personalize my store if you finish all these things your website is ready now by default they giving the analytics also as you getting the sales you will see how many orders how many sales uh the change lot actually who comes uh a six months back it was something else now it's really good now before activating woocommerce plugin our website was like this now let me refresh this yeah storefront team have been added you can see automatically cart checkout my account shop these pages came now add to cart option and uh, search by default uh, theme level things the main thing is these four uh, pages automatically came don't remove them most of the people remove the pages don't remove them okay if you remove them again uh, it's a big process to check them again now without products it won't look good so let me add products one by one so add my product again adding a product there are uh, different ways manually adding what is the product name okay product title product description product images all you can do manually this is or else uh, you are a big uh, company have lot of products you can prepare on excel sheet there is some uh, uh, format how to go that so with that also you can do it with a csv file or else you are already selling somewhere else but you want to come to woocommerce you can migrate also so here i'm not explaining these two things in the separate video i'm doing so here how to add manually let me explain yes uh let us discuss something about seo search engine optimization someone searching about your product you want to be on top according to my opinion seo and website designing both are not different guys these days these are both the same now i'm adding a product means i'm designing my website this time only if you put lot of attention 70 to 80% of your seo will be done but most of the people they gave their project to a developer where developer concentrate more on creating a beautiful website and he don't know how to do marketing now these companies contacting us then directly we can't start marketing we have to see many things so to rectify them only it is taking one month time that's why i recommend people who want to start your uh, e-commerce website don't have a knowledge contact digital marketers not the developers so digital marketers only do justice for you right so here you have to add the product name okay i'm writing like uh, uh so this is just for uh, explanation only in in the future videos i'm going to make my client website only there you will see properly how i'm doing just i'm making for a sample purpose 
so assume that mine is about uh, selling sarees online so i'm adding a product called product name is pattu sari okay so this is your product main body of content here here you should describe your product in detail what is this product about and what are the specification all these things so as of now i don't have much details about this product so i'm searching on google but i uh, because it is your own store you do have all the details because for explanation things that's why i'm depending on the google uh you see here when i type pattu sari right hand side you will see the ads these are all the shopping ads only sometimes you will get a uh, search ads like uh, uh, below here ads will be there that is not recommend this is only recommend this is less expensive and uh, more benefit let me take uh, from from mintra i'm for the description and images i'm depending on this website as of now but when you doing for your website i recommend try to have your own images hire some photographer he only should take images and use this it doesn't mean that uh, you can't take images from google you can take from google no problem most of the people take but if you have your own that's good Okay, there are many details to give. Let me take one image. Okay. I'm selecting this image. And uh, so this content I'm copying here from here. And I'm adding here. Okay. Next, uh, choose product type. Again, here also there are many variations. So as of now, go for simple product. Apart from that, group product, affiliate product, varial product available. That I will be explaining in the next video. As of now, go for a simple product only. Next. price how much is the price of the product so assume that uh, this is 8500 and uh, second yeah. so the difference of this is uh, you might have seen on many websites here on let me see what is the sale price and what is the price you might know this it will show like it will strike 8015 it will show 7000 in such a way there is a possibility Sale price seven thousand eight hundred. It's giving a help to me how to add all these things. And after that, here product short description. Again, what do you want to give? It also I'm giving the same, but you should give something else anyway. I'll talk about this later, guys. Um, how to do proper seo i'm going to make in a separate because if i keep on talking about here it will take uh, more time but i'm telling you when you start with the first product only you should watch that seo video then only start doing it don't uh, simply copy paste it there are many things like uh, how to give h1 heading how to give internal links how to give outbound links for the particular image you're giving all text or not there are seven, seven to eight parameters if you follow them i'm telling you down the line six months most of your products will be in the top 10 and uh, you can drive seo traffic to 
your e-commerce website. So I'm as if not to save the time, I'm skipping them. Next, product images. So uh, as I said, hire some professional photographer from that only can do. Uh, if you want, they can take from uh, other websites. It's not a, not a problem. Don't think about the copyright images because they can't use any logo of this. I'll tell you why. I'm copying this image. Why? Because if they use their logo on the product, according to Google Merchant Center policy, if you use your logo, they will disapprove your ad. That's why nobody use uh, logos on the product. This is good news for you. If you don't have a proper images, you can take from any websites or the Google. But recommend they'll try to have your own uh, images. Okay. Now I'm going to upload this image here. Set product image and uh, select file. I'm adding the image. Make sure that you should give a alt text here, which I'm going to explain in the next videos about the properties. You are not doing right now. Okay. This is one image and this is the product gallery images because you might have seen uh, most of the e-commerce website. They add uh, some other products also. Uh, only not only one image three to four images they will show in the same way you can upload gallery of the images it is not mandatory but this is mandatory if you have more images like other different different angles if you want to show you can go for the gallery images okay tags this is for SEO purpose guys if you use proper tags, your SEO score will be increasing. Category, this is important. This is for the designing purpose. Why? Because in your website, people want to see different uh, categories like, uh, uh, like this. Uh, see brand, Kalini, Goshiki, Chabra, Triveni, like this. Or else laptop, computer. These are all the categories anyway. So prepare what kind of categories you have. So I'm, I'm adding a new category like saris. That is one category. Kurtis. So now this comes under saris. So um, I'm selecting the saris one. So that if you add 100 products on the saris, people who ever click on the category, they can see all the saris. They click on Kurtis, they will see that. That's it. Publish your product. Remember your product name. Okay. So uh, what are the product name is try to have it. And after that, uh, some description, some uh, information about your product. Then uh, uh, as of now, go for a simple product. What is the regular price sale price? If both the same, just leave it as a regular price only. And again, inventory, shipping, these all things I'm not explaining now. Then uh, description again. And after that, your product image or else gallery of the images, uh, product tags, and it comes under which category. I recommend, first of all, decide how many categories you have, you create them, then just select them. It comes under what category. Then publish the products. So here I didn't explain about the SEO in the next videos. I'll be explaining the videos. If you are creating your website by seeing this video, make sure that you follow that video also. Publish. Now our first product is created. Now see the beautiness of the WooCommerce, how they did it. The product.
here see the product what to sari and what are the information i gave by default uh, see sale option is going and they can add a number of items add to cart option came it's so in the category under saris and description gave and there is one more option called reviews which we'll learn later most of the time i'm telling you customer will not come to your home page customer will come to product page only here only as of now it's not looking great but we'll be designing much better now now add to cart let's see how it is working whether it is properly working or not add to cart see it's added to the cart automatically see three three items so the cost have done view cart okay and even you can add coupons also so if you apply coupons there will be a discount proceed to check out in the next videos i'll be adding the coupon uh, tutorial also right then customer have to give his details why because we have to ship there right then place an order everything is done so as of now it's showing that sorry it seems that there are no available payments method for your state please contact us if you require assistance or wish to make alternate arrangement why because payment gateway not integrated okay for that i'll make a separate video but at least you can go for a cash and delivery option here so for that i'm going to woocommerce and i'm going for a settings go to woocommerce click on settings So most of the WooCommerce settings will be here. You can see here general products, shipping, payments. Let me go for a uh, payments. Yeah. So the methods: direct bank transfer, check payments, cash and delivery, PayPal. Uh, six months back, when I download a WooCommerce plugin. Uh, in that uh, that wizard only they used to have this payment now they didn't do that's why you have to go for an extra step here just activate this so you don't have any uh, payment gateways also still with the cash and delivery you can do it if you want to use uh, uh, any payment gateway make sure that your company should be registered if you are in india you have to give your uh, gst number if you are from us also you have to give your tax information otherwise payment gateways like stripe paypal these people will not accept so you should have a company because you're doing a business but without that also you don't have a registered also with the cash and delivery you can do it a small scale people but anyway it's always good to have a registered company no one just simply you can't start your website and do it you should have a registered companies so save changes uh, people who have selected a product they will be having a cash and delivery option let us try to refresh it or else we'll add the product again see pay with cash and delivery option automatically done so let me do as a customer now Gosh. again if you don't want see people are your customers you don't want this option to become there are some settings where you can remove this option also now customer giving address Yeah, everything is done. Then I'm clicking on place order. Yes, order received. See so here, check out order received. Again, this URL is very important for our future. Uh, we'll be doing a remarketing, conversion tracking. This is very important. So, what I'm doing is initially, I'm not 
concentrating on the designing i'm checking up the functionality whether it is working good or not then i'll go for a designing okay order number is this mandate email what is on payment method cash and delivery this is the address now by default i'm telling you what happens here with the woocommerce settings one email the customer will be getting one email the website owner also getting like you got one order to the emails also apart from that in your store also you can see the orders once you come here click on the orders you see order name when it is it is in the processing mode and if you click on this you will see about the product so what is his details and uh, how he selected that cash and delivery so it is successful now that's it guys this is how you have to create your website initially so it was nothing now we have a store now try to have 20 to 30 products then only you can customize this website as of now only one product is there let me open it okay see here still it's showing hello world only so by default all your products will be there in the shop page here your product will come So it is here if you keep on adding more products it look good so i'm not going to explain in this video in the next video i will add some 20 products how to customize them how to make a beautiful website i'm going to show you as of now if following this video you also do it and by seeing the next video you can customize your website so today what we learned is how to create e-commerce website with wordpress with the help of woocommerce so I'm logged into the dashboard. I've installed the plugin called uh, WooCommerce. There was a setup wizard. I just follow the instructions. I finished and uh, I've added my first product and uh, the payment option I choose cash on delivery. And I was checking whether it is working perfectly or not. Everything is fine. You just see here guys, email marketing also automatically done. Your blog order has been received, okay? Uh, actually if you customize your name it will come like uh, your order beauty supply order has been received uh, see thank you for your order hi subhash this is for the customer copy because in this case i am the owner i am the customer so this is the copy for the customer see thank you for your order uh, just let you know we have received your order and uh, is now being processed paid with cash and delivery now customer also feel that okay this is a good company i can trust this and uh, second this is for the website owners they also get an uh, automated email that you have received the following order from them so if you have any questions contact the customer and you can solve them mostly it will be automated anyway. that's it guys uh, this is the basic one let us learn more even i'm researching more on that i'll try to give um, uh, complete insight on WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a very big thing and uh, uh, sales, conversions, remarketing, a lot of things is there. If you learn them bit by bit properly, you will learn a lot of knowledge. Okay, so that's it guys. If you any have any questions, put it in a comment so that I'll get back to you. Thank you.